Conti. Welcome everyone to the stream. Dino, Abby, Stick Figure, uh, Conti, Sheen, MT, Eagle, Skydive Rob, um, Smiley Beaches, Cool Borders. Thank you everyone for being here. Sorry if I missed you. Landscape for takeoff is beautiful. So the plan for today is to do um, a sort of historic flight in the new just flight Avro Vulcan. We're in New Zealand, kind of not really where you'd expect to find the Avro Vulcan, but it did come here actually a couple of times. Uh, and one time it was emblazoned with a Kiwi um, and it flew in the Hamilton, flew in the Hamilton air show here in New Zealand. Uh, and it did a few runs around the country to, uh, to uh, you know, for posterity, I guess, since they flew it all the way from Cyprus, where this one was based, uh, um, down to New Zealand via Singapore. And based it here in um, uh, RNZAF Otakea which is the Air Force Base here in the North Island of New Zealand and uh, flew it to a different places. So that's where we are. We give the default scenery. This is a Air Force Base, but it's all right. The layout's good. The flightless bird in the roundel is the biggest. It's... Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a fun plane. I've started to learn how to actually set it up without spending an hour trying to get it up and running. So. We'll try and do that and see if we can uh, get this plane up and going within the next 20 minutes or so. It is a bit of a clunker in terms of setting it up, so... Have you done rapid start yet? Yes, I have, Abby. We'll do a rapid start, that's fine. Uh, but even with a rapid start, it's not that rapid getting going from cold and dark. So, I'm going to start working through things. We'll turn the uh, oxygen on on both sides and she'll hop down here and connect ground power, uh, air cart. Oxygen covers are already removed and we'll close our doors up. Actually, before we close the bomb doors, let's just put some uh, something on the wings because it looks better with something on the wings, I think. There's our carts starting up on the outside. It is good, it is good. That sound of the rapid start is uh, thrilling. <laughs> Tiny GPU. That's normal sized GPU, I would say. It's just a big plane. Is Abby there on the ground? Okay, we'll jump back to the. Uh, electronics panel here in the back of the plane and we will first of all turn the battery on there we go turn the battery on uh open the low pressure cock which is the uh, fuel valve for the apu um and then we will uh oh no apu start what didn't i do oh apu master switch might help APU start, and we'll get that APU up and running. AAPP rather than an APU. Sorry for everyone who wants the technicalities to be correct today. And it's coming up. Hope you all enjoyed Conti's uh, DCS stream. It's fun seeing someone uh, do DCS. I haven't seen people stream that in a long time. Okay, uh, it's a rapid start uh, APU as well, so we'll connect that APU up there, and now we've got that connected. In oh, got our 120 volt buses connected, and there we go. Probably should rip reset. Those are still. Cool. We didn't do an APU fight. Now we did. So we got our APU running. Who am I in there? Jeez. First pilot. There we go. Uh, we got APU running. We got our. Oh, we got some uh, VATSIM going on as well. 
Good to hear, people. I thought there would be ATC on today. I thought it was a, um, an event, but clearly not. Not very much in the way of eventliness going on. That's it. Uh, cool. So now we'll hop back to this front cockpit. And we will basically start running through a setup in 45 minutes. Okay. Open mic in New Zealand. Get some cockpit lights on. So basically the flow is now that we've got the APU running, we start down the bottom but ignore the engine start panel first uh, and we'll go up through the radio panel here. So that turns on our left and right, uh, 122 decimal 80 is what we're on, then we'll turn on the radio to HF and put it in normal. Um, then... We will leave that is that we will leave that one alone. Uh, we'll leave our Bombay doors alone for now until we get hydraulic pressure. Uh, down here we've got our radar ra radar altimeter. Turn that on. Oxygen panel. We've already done oxygen. Oh, he is quite loud. Okay, thank you. Him out. Probably turned it up after that, <laughs> that struggle with hearing uh, the chappie in Singapore a while back. Okay, there we go. We have bombs we can drop on him. We do have bombs down here. You want me to take some bombs with us? It is quite a fun animation to see the bombs drop. Um, okay, now moving here. We, again, we've got our oxygen indication. Reset our altimeter and just set the Q and H. Moving up here, we'll reset our uh, G counter. Moving across to the middle. We'll uh, open up all of our fuel valves here. Great view. Okay, open up our fuel valves. Guard them again in case we accidentally smack them. During uh, uh, some excitement, uh, we're going to set this to uh, bomb, which is actually heading select uh, in terms of autopilot, interestingly enough, and up the middle, which is fine for takeoff. We'll leave our parachute alone. We'll leave our gear is indicating down. Continuing to the right, we'll check where we're in military flight. We are. We'll turn our uh, windscreen de-ice on, coming down here, got another radio panel to turn on up here, okay, getting there, and our throttle feel on, maybe down here, we don't do our pressurization just yet, we'll do that after engine start, keep moving, keep moving. Out. I've uh, filed 34,000, Abby. Turn our master light switch on, and our nav lights can go on. Go. Hey, Sandboss. Uh, we're not going to use any of our in-air refueling today, although it is quite cool to see when, uh, when it happens. Unfortunately, there's not like a AC-10 tanker modeled uh, we can dock our boom with, but you know. And anti-ice not required at the moment. I haven't yet, Jet. Good to see you, Jet. Uh, I haven't installed the, the beta since... I haven't installed the beta since... Um... <laughs> you need Stefan Jury's review. Since I had a few performance issues with it uh, on... Actually, we don't want to do that yet. We want to get our fueling panel next. And... 
Yeah, I haven't installed the beta since I had some um, performance issues with it. In the last round. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we've opened our crossfeed valves. Now all of these pumps should... No, that's not a pump. All of these pumps should change the uh, magnetic indicator status there. Just confirming that our fuel system works. Um, a lot of fuel pumps on this plane. A lot of fuel pumps. Oops. Getting that. Getting that. Okay. It'll work. So now we'll turn them all back on. These. And these. 30 degrees in Brisbane, yes. And we'll turn the autopilot power on. It takes a little while to get that autopilot power to come online. Last checks, just around the throttle quadrant here. We've just got to check. That is in military flight mode. That is in takeoff mode. The limiter is on. And the emergency air is pushed. Go! Alright. And just like that, we are ready for an engine start, I hope. We're going to do a rapid start, so we'll switch them into rapid and get our two uh, master switch and ignition on. Now we can open our high pressure fuel valves. Crank up the power. Press the start button. We can uh, listen to the engine start. Oh, Christchurch Center has come on then. There we go. It's Mr. Chu! One, two, three, decimal seven. Engine start! Oh. Here you go, from spring. Probably too loud already, I thought I'm shouting. Okay, engines. Engines have started. Hey, do you know, uh, yes, sort of. Slightly earlier version of the Concorde engines. It is the Olympus engines. Really control one uh, two six point two or two nine. Oh, right, have a look. Uh, um, probably within Wellington, aren't we? One two six point two, maybe. O H P M N R. Uh, I'm gonna go one two six point two. Okay, next up, we got to connect up all of our electricals now that uh, we've got four engines running. Go. Connect those up. Transformer rectifier units. It is a pretty chew. <laughs> Billy Center. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, you're sinking on generator two. This pilot, thank you for following, you're welcome. Uh, we also need to go to the navigators panel briefly. We need to turn our Takan radio on. The ration heaters. Oh, do tell, Abby. What are the ration heaters? Useless. <laughs> uh, to heat your rations. Yeah, it's a little microwave in the back for uh, crew ration. Okay, well I'm hoping that I've uh, almost got everything done here. We just need to get our powered flight controls on or we're going to have a bad time when we come to flying. Yep. Starting the ailerons. Ailerons are starting, thank you. Start the rudder. So, is it really a ration heater? I actually thought it was like, you know, code for something else. Rudder is started. Elevons. And we can start these. Little electric heaters you can see the cannon. Oh, okay. Hey. Keep going. Pressurization system is hidden underneath here. Done. Alright, well, I think we can talk to Billy Chu now. TFR fail. What does that mean? That's not a good idea. Good thing. <laughs> this one has ration heaters, yeah. Alright, let's try this. Hey. my call sign, X-Ray Hotel 562, on the ground at Ohakia. Press Jets Control, good evening. Vulcan, X-Ray Hotel 562, on the ground at base Ohakia, IFR clearance to Christchurch. Surprise Billy Chew with that one, I think. Item one. Okay. <clears throat> what is TFR fail and do I need to worry about it? That's the question. I've got a manual here. My emergency manual in case you run into any issues because I don't know this plane that well just yet. X-Ray Hotel 562, ready to copy. Ah. What's going on? X-Ray Hotel 562 is cleared Christchurch via Wellington, flight level 340, Ohakia, 1 Sierra departure, squawk 5313. 
Runway 251007, X-ray Hotel 562. Hello. Famous FPS, hello. Ooh, thanks, Abby. Runway 27, all right. Uh, let's change our squawk. Um, means we go navigator. Five, five, three, one, three. Here you're doing low level runs. Okay, thanks. Divan 12A, hello. TFR stays off. Okay, thank you, Sam Wolf. Um, are we ready to go? I just need to check the charts, I think. That's all we've got left to do. It's an AGL trigger to keep the plane X from the ground. Oh, okay. Okay, runway 27, so we're going to basically come out of this ramp, um, turn left probably on Bravo and then left again on Alpha to Alpha 1, um, and then the SID that we were given was the Awakia 1 Sierra, which uh, looks like we're just going to get runway heading. Uh, well, maybe our Kia two. Where's the? I think we take off this way. You get a track, and then after eight hundred, you turn to the track. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Lead to eleven thousand. Thank you. Uh, let's just set runway heading on our compass down here. That will thank you follow. We're nearly ready to go everyone. Runway heading is 267. 267. And... Holy volume. I don't know what's up with the volumes today. Sorry everyone. Is, uh, turn that one down. I can't hear. I can't hear uh, ATC at all. So I, I don't know how come you guys think it's loud, but I can't hear anything. Just the alerts, okay. Uh, and I'm going to tune Wellington POR as well, which is. One one two decimal three. Okay. Better now. I've had to turn it up a little bit. I'm ready to go now. Whew. 11 plus plus. Okay. I've tried the. I've turned the alerts down a tiny bit. Wait for a gap here in the ATC. <laughs> Air Cario, yeah. Alright, Sam Boss. Taxi light on. Oh, let's disconnect our carts here. They might be uh, a bit problematic for us when we start taxi. Take them with you. Well, Useful, but not 100% useful. Christchurch Center, X ray Hotel 562 is ready for taxi. Uh, 
Uh, taxi holding point Alpha 1, runway 27, report ready, X ray Hotel 560. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Head out here. A lot of stepping going on today. One you can walk away from. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Ah, the landings are. Uh, one of the landings was decent on the last stream that we did. The first stream that we did on this on uh, Thursday night second was not very decent. It was a shocker. Yep. On our way. Hey. Hey, Abby's coming along. yet down to alpha one down here it's quite busy and two got busy all of a sudden not that busy, I guess. I watched a few more takeoffs of this thing as well, so I'm hoping it doesn't like completely overwhelm us as we depart here. It is a uh, beast, definitely. Hey, but I did all of that setup without a uh, checklist, so we're getting there. Oh, I think I've seen that one, Abby. Maybe. I've seen one by a Vulcan captain that was posted a couple of days ago, so maybe. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to configure for takeoff. Yada, driver of the bus, welcome. They destroyed the port gear. Eventful day. X-Plane 11, yes. Okay, well, I can't think of anything that I've missed, so let's see how we go. Short, hello. An eventful day indeed that would have been drive the bus. Tank pressure. How do I do that, Abby? What have I not done? Good, right? Hmm. <clears throat> Refueling panel, top right switch. On. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and lights are all on. Heaters are on.
hiding AVS switch? Uh, no, I don't think so. Where's that? Oh, the one's around the back. AVS is on main. This one. That's right, isn't it? AVS is on main. We just wait for this uh, clearance here. Are you a dev? <laughs> no, Abby just actually follows checklists, whereas I don't. There's one thing we can do while we're waiting. We can check that the uh, air brake indication. Uh, we're going to Christchurch. That's Abby behind us. Runway heading, runway 27, clear for takeoff, X ray hotel 562. Great. Afternoon, Jacko. Line up. Okay, are we ready to go? I think so. 80% power. Some brakes, take off power. Power. Here on your end as well, Abby. That's awesome. Ready? Rotate. And we're up. Here coming up. Power back. 90% power. Accelerating. And maintain runway heading. Uh, yep, we're good to do the switch. Engines, Olympus 201 engines. Waiting for a gap in the radio here. Hotel 562, airborne climbing 3500. Road navigation, direct Wellington climbing 340. X ray hotel 562. 
we go. Bit of manual flight here. And flying. a mistake to do that it uh why are we turning right <laughs> that's not good nice photo max welcome to the stream thanks for the follow i'm on bomb yeah that was the intent i wanted to uh turn magnetic heading it's okay what we're gonna do with uh, picking up Decimal 9, normal cruise, B650. Well, I mean, it can push back one, but it doesn't like to break the sound barrier unless you're descending and pushing it real hard. Uh, yeah, it's got, it's got four engines that are basically... Uh, Basically the same engines that are out of Concorde, so it is pretty, uh... What's going on? I'm, uh, very, I'm feeling very lost. Uh, let's use the magnetic. Is Concord. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, let's try and sort this out now. Yeah, okay. I know where we are. I know what's going wrong. reason my uh, we got you <laughs> I don't think I got me is a problem I just want to turn south please Oh, 
run Pete Tong. I get this autopilot actually on and I'll be able to try and problem solve all the shit that's gone wrong on my other computer. Because <laughs> the sim's running fine but the other computer is dead. IAS hold is broken. Okay. Still trying to get this 250 knots. again. IAS track. Okay. It's sort of doing something. Uh, now let's see. Uh, Navigraph Simlink has of course signed itself out no apparent reason. There's an unexpected error. Everything looks fine. See, why aren't why aren't it signed in? I already need to click sign in. Okay. Oh, here we go. Back. Broadcasted flight server. Flight data to the server. We're back. Hooray! Woo! Uh, okay. Uh, we should just make sure we're on 1013, which we... We are. <clears throat> Somewhat miraculously, we're actually pointed in the right direction and we're heading towards Wellington, but I don't know how I managed that. <laughs> I didn't know where I was going for most of that departure. I'm far too reliant on Nevergraph moving that. Thousand feet. And just watching this now because we're only three thousand feet from our cruise. Hey, the Christmas is coming out. <laughs> That's true, Geekle. Amplify SOPs do require uh, advanced situation awareness, I agree with that. CG! Perfect, Gabby. One, two, three, decimal seven, next ring hotel, 562.
right in the green CG. Uh, I didn't press any buttons when it came to refueling, so maybe I should have. But I didn't. Oh, we're approaching uh, thirty-four thousand. Christchurch X-ray Hotel 562. Not too bad. <laughs> 34,050 feet. I'll uh, take that as a win. Okay, well we're in cruise. We're going to now start accelerating. We're at 95% power, which is the most we can squeeze out of these engines. Uh, and the speed will start coming up. Uh, we're currently only doing... What, over the ground? Doing... Oh, uh, we're doing okay. 400 knots over the ground. 280 knots over the air. In the air. We see Abby. There's Abby down there. You can see your lights are loving. Oh, this is gonna cause an issue. I just pressed the button. Sorry, 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 sorry. Amazing. The reason I did that is now we can get. So we're going to need to uh, change directions here. <laughs> oh no! Hang on. we got to do that, first of all, and uh, buy a magnetic heading. And then we've got to turn right onto 194. That'll be 180. Heading right. Look at the speed, it's creeping up. Over Mach 9 now, 0.9. Probably come back on the power of it. It's one of Max doing a flight from Christchurch to Wellington. Nice. Sign is uniform, Juliet Tango. Officially completed that sim as you got your oceanic. Wow. 
United Decimal 4, Extra Hotel 560. Well done, Abby, that's awesome. Ready to send flight level 150 X-ray Hotel 560. Okay, 150. Remember that, everyone. We got no like knobs to set an altitude with here. 150. Thanks, MT. Uh, oh, we need to tune in Christchurch here. <laughs> radar terrain. Always radar terrain. If you're One one five three. Thank you, Dino. <laughs> yeah, we're not yet picking up Christchurch, so um, we don't have a DME either, so just have to kind of figure it out, I guess. Thanks, Dino. In terms of descent planning, this leg is 165 nautical miles. Uh, we're at 340, and we need to get down to 150. Well, actually, we need to get down to 3000 by Christchurch. How about that? That's 31,000 feet to drop. Multiply it by three is only three thousand uh, ninety-three. Plus, we're very fast, so I'm going to say about hundred miles before Christchurch. Now we don't have a DME anyway, so I don't know how we can tell if we're a hundred miles from Christchurch unless there's a TACAN. Anywhere nearby. Captain Amir, hello. so far, considering what a beast this plane is. No issues, plenty of fuel, pick our CG again, oh we're still in the green, I love it. Is there a pressurization dial somewhere? I feel like there should be. There's a clock down here, but uh, it's basically just a clock, as far as I can tell. 
Fuck that we can change. Okay, we're getting close. Close to top of descent. Probably start slowing down now actually. And that's me back a little bit here. And then we'll go to IAS hold and start descending. That's about 280 indicated, that would be good for us for descent. So we'll pop the on here IAS and start descending. I wrote it down, flight level 150. Yep, it's happening. Picking up this uh, Christchurch, have I got it tuned in right? 115.3 Dearest games, welcome aboard, thanks for following. 115.3 That is correct. Be weak. Well, that uh, ended up being relatively painless, this uh, first flight, didn't it? I think we've got time for a second flight in there. Open. We have to land first. I know it's uh, probably a bit premature to say that, but... descending nicely. Vectors descend one one thousand feet uh, and NH one zero two six. X-ray hotel five six two. One zero zero six. X-ray hotel five six two. What's the live weather like in uh, Christchurch? Can we switch over to live weather? Fourteen degrees one zero zero six overcast three thousand eight hundred. Let's do it and see what happens, eh? Fifteen. <laughs> right, 
probably want to descend a little bit. Mark Sugarloaf. Yes. <laughs> Sugarload as well, yeah. On the way down to about 3,000 uh, better than over uh, here, exactly, yeah. Could be. We're expecting vectors, which means that uh, Billy Chew's going to help us out. And by the looks of things, we've picked up Christchurch finally. Bit of a handful, this uh, static card magnetic compass. Oh, where are we turning? Uh, where are we going this way? This is not what I want to do. A bit. I should have just left it alone. It was all going so well. My track is way off. Yeah, right? What's going on? My track should be like... 194. So what's it pointing at now? 210. What is it? It's fine. We'll just leave it. He'll give us vectors. <laughs> That's my brain. My brain can't hope, can't cope with it today. Hey, this isn't Billy Chew anymore. What happened to Billy Chew? Ah, uh, you hand it off. We're down to 11,000. Oh, I couldn't do cell nav in this thing. Don't you have to actually do your own shot these days with the, the new cell nav software? Man, that would hurt my brain. Stick your head out the top. It's like, what if the sun is behind you? Where is the sun today? Ah, oh, okay. I think I got away with that, uh... Checking for the declaration, declaration, declination. Oh. Two six decimal one extra hotel five sixteen. Yep. Let's see how they deal with this. Crash Church Approach, X-Ray Hotel 562, descending through by level 155 for 11,000 feet. Ah, 
left one nine of five extra hotel five six. fixed okay maybe you deserved it magic turtle <laughs> ready with uh seeing how this happens truth hurts <laughs> we need to slow down at some point um how can i do that I guess we just turn off the... Yeah. Okay, uh, 13,000 is coming up. Then we'll change the altimeter setting. Need to slow down. Departed planes for the max, okay. Listen out for you. Uh, and then we need to set this one zero zero six. He sends six thousand radar terrain, extra hotel, five sixty. Right, we're down to six. We send a bit more. Easy to crank this descent rate too hard. Because he changed center, okay. It's heavy gone. Oh, storming ahead, look at this, without a uh, controller. Being more cautious. What's the actual event tonight here in New Zealand? Is it like Christchurch or Auckland? Maybe we could do that as the return leg. What runway are we expecting here? Runway two zero. Okay, cool. Let me straight in. Uh, what's the ILS? Maybe we can... Is there an ILS? Christchurch control event. Hey, st hey stocks. We might just fly it in manually, but at least we've got the guidance. Can't really see what we're being able to do here. Any of the main airports normally okay. Wellington's too short for this east, so. DC. We're supposed to be 2,000 feet at DC. Will we get down? Might do. Just. See what we get to 
useful to do here. Back it around, maybe. Oh, there's the ILS just kicked in. <laughs> oh, we didn't drop our bombs. You just reminded me, Scott. I was going to bomb Wellington on the way past. He's in 3000, turn right uh, 230, X-ray Hotel 562. Frames are a bit crazy then. He might actually get us onto the ILS here. Just if we're cautious about our descent rate. I'm gonna arm my landing lights, they won't actually kick in until we get below 180 knots. Decent job, actually. I'm gonna end up uh, picking this up about 15 miles out. It's quite nice for this plane. DME approach runway 20, report established. Dre Hodo 560. Alright, we did go through it, but we've got plenty of miles to run. Come on, hold the out, sir. Not quite what I would call established though. Thousand. Yeah. I find that it um, it climbs up to meet the glide sometimes. It's not good. It's this moves. Contact tower when established. Uh, yeah, we're just uh, rejoining the localizer now in X ray hotel 562. Power is 1184. Okay, still good, still good, still good. We can get on the Yeah. 
Glide slope. Self out, glide slope. Thank you. There we go. Oof. Here we go. Okay, now. Christchurch Tower, Vulcan X ray Hotel, Fire 62 established on the ILS 20. Approach X ray hotel five. Now we're coming into land. Hey, we managed to establish. Uh, okay, we're on the glide, we're on the loke. How good is that? Now we can roll back the power just a little bit and pop out our first stage of the air brake. These bad boys will keep us in check. Otherwise, we can't slow down off enough without basically killing our engines. And two whites, two reds. Able. Should have checked the CG before we uh, seal green. Good, that's the outer marker beeping away. Right on here. Got someone on the runway. Oh, it might just be Abby. Oh, we got someone departing, that's really what we're waiting for. Zero, clear the land, traffic in sight, X-ray Hotel Flask. Alright, full speed, speed brake. And... Disengage the AP, my aircraft. Two two is not too bad in this plane, you know. Oh, gee. Stay on the runway. Antarctic apron via Alpha Alpha One Five. Open an X-ray hotel 562. Hey, that was fun. A right handful, this thing. Fun, nonetheless. I 
closing. Two six one. Yeah, it got a bit uh, squirrely on finals there. It felt very sloppy. Kind of got a bit slow, to be honest. Very tricky to know <laughs> where you where your uh, approach speed is. Back to Gatrin via Alpha 15. How was your flight, Abby? You made it, I can see. Is the uh, NZA simulation Christchurch scenery, by the way? Really very good cool scenery. skis. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a tail strike if those go off. Uh, we're going to pull in here. Lights off. Uh, we need to box in at the carts and our fuel switches to manual. Those carts are ready, we can shut down the engines. Well, I think what you can do actually is switch over to APU leader. There's a switch over there for that. 